I think the thing that's so interesting is that all the big moves that have happened, I didn't really plan. They mm -hmm. just kind of worked out. Adam Lambert is a Grammy-nominated pop rock icon with an incredible vocal range and larger-than-life stage presence. He first rose to fame on season eight of American Idol. But growing up, he was always in the spotlight. I was a theater kid. My parents are very supportive. They've always known that I was a bit, bit different, and they really encouraged it and cultivated it. And so they put me in a children's theater group when I was about seven or eight, and I loved it. It very quickly became clear to me that that's what I'm meant to do. From an early age, Adam says he always knew he was gay and didn't shy away from it. Was there somebody who sort of helped pave the path for you? I felt safe at home, yeah. which I think that was a big deal for me. I had some, some teachers that kind of, I think, without actually saying it, sort of created a safe space for me. And that really allowed me to sort of find the comfort in my own skin to be able to come out and say, this is who I am. Adam came out to his family and friends early on. But after his run on American Idol, he came out publicly to the world. Did it change anything for you within the music industry? I was open and out with all the people that I was working with. It wasn't a secret. I think it actually made things a bit easier at that point. Yeah. I was very clear on the idea that like, there's no way I'm gonna hide this. And also for the people that I, that I had seen and I watched you know, hide their sexuality, I always thought to myself, man, that must be stressful. For Adam, being true to himself made all the difference and his career took off releasing four solo albums and joining forces on tour with legendary rock band Queen. And when you step into those iconic golden platform shoes <laughs> that you're wearing, stepping into that role almost as uh, you know Freddie Mercury did, what yeah. is that like for you to get on that stage? I've been with them now for about nine years and it's, it's crazy because it's been a, a, an evolution for me. The first time we went out together mm -hmm. and I was just getting my feet wet at that point and I was pulling it off, but I don't think I felt totally at home there yet. Mm -hmm. But over the next tour, I think I started growing into it more and I feel yeah. now when I get on stage that I, I can really just be myself 100%. Being 100% himself has driven him to help others like him do the same. To aid in the fight for equality, he launched the Feel Something Foundation in 2019 that supports LGBTQ organizations. I think anybody that's in the community and, and our allies need to look deep within themselves with some empathy and put yourself in that person's shoes and realize this, this person was born this way, that's who they are, and to, to hold someone back and punish somebody and discriminate against somebody, that's evil, it's terrible. And this weekend, he's preparing to headline his first in-person concert since before the pandemic, a three-day festival in Los Angeles featuring a lineup of queer artists, musicians, and speakers. I think things are getting back to normal, slowly but surely, and it's time to, yeah. to remember that we're part of a community and to, to support each other. It's not just one thing. It's not just gay men, gay women. We have a big rainbow that we need to honor. It's a time to kind of be part of that rainbow. Such an inspiration, and he's a busy guy as well, because in addition to headlining this weekend's event called Out Loud, Raising Voices, he's also been working on a new album that's going to be turned into a musical. And if that wasn't enough, Adam's going to be performing in Las Vegas at the Venetian Theater for five shows only this fall, right before Halloween, and tickets go on sale today. So can't wait to see what he does next, Absolutely. guys. And then he's going to continue on uh, with, with Queen as well. Uh, believe in 2022, they'll resume wow. their concerts. That's awesome. Yeah. I remember yeah. I used to cover American Idol, and I remember when he first hit the stage, yeah. and that voice, that powerful Incredible. Oh, yeah. yeah, the world was His forever range. changed. Absolutely. Yeah. And it just keeps getting better. Yeah, thank Great you, Natalie. Great conversation. Thanks, Thanks Natalie. Natalie. Yeah. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.